Morning, evening and night time ladies and gents and today I'll show you the easiest way to kill the new bosses. And no, it is not sitting in the bathroom and waiting for them to open the door. Let's talk about the maps where the bosses do spawn. First of all, Lighthouse. Right now, I think the spawn chance on Lighthouse is something around 12 to 17%. And they spawn either next to the rich house, which is down the hill, or they spawn in the water treatment. The problem is, it's pretty difficult to kill them in the water treatment. And if they spawn in the house, it's very difficult to know that they are there. And secondly, if you do farm them on a Lighthouse, you need to check two spawns. And that takes quite a bit of time. So Lighthouse is not the map for us. Woods. On Woods, the new bosses spawn on the top of the map, right next to the radio station. This is really far from the main area, as well as it's really far from the main extraction. Therefore, I think it is not really suitable for farming. Customs. Customs is a really good map for farming bosses. The only huge disadvantage is that the spawn chance is very small. I think right now bosses spawn on customs with a 4% chance. They typically spawn in the stronghold and between the crack house area, and tend to make their way to the crack house most of the time. Last but not least. Shoreline. On Shoreline they spawn next to the Meteor Station. Meteor Station? Weather Station? I think we call it Weather Station. Anyway, they spawn next to the Weather Station, there is only one spawn on Shoreline, and they do spawn with a 12% chance, which is pretty high. So Shoreline is the best map. First of all, there is only one spawn we need to check. Secondly, there is an extraction right there, and there is extraction right here, the Lighthouse one. So we'll be focusing on Shoreline. Since we are about to start farming Shoreline, Let's talk about the basic thing. Where do the bosses like to sit on the weather station? Well, first of all, they either sit on the left side or the right side of it. Typically somewhere in those areas in the bush. Bird Eye likes to sit in the, on the right side, right there, right there, and sometimes he sits in the main house. So far, I found out that the best way to farm bosses is to fight them next to the rocks. First of all, you can take rocks as a cover and due to the boss's range, they don't tend to push you. So either fighting them from this side or from this side. Sometimes when you check nades and you check for bosses and you can't hear them, the only way is to push the main building and lock the door inside it. But it's very risky as the bosses might shoot you while you're moving into the building. This raid I checked a couple of nades but I heard no voice lines whatsoever. I've seen a knight in the distance, shot him, thought I aggroed him so I waited for him to come but I heard no footsteps for the next 20-30 seconds and I decided to push the main building. On my way to the building, I got lucky and I killed the bird eye, and then I got stuck inside. Nobody was pushing me, and I had to go out, find the big pipe, kill the big pipe, and after that, the knight finally pushed me. I would say I got pretty lucky because in this raid so many things could have went wrong but all of them went right and I somehow managed to survive. But still, I think that killing the bosses inside the weather station, like inside the toilet, locking the door, it's way too much risk and it's way too random. And this is what typically happens when you try to run into the building without knowing the position of the bosses. And that's exactly why I don't advise to do so. Now to the real deal. Step number one, approach the rocks. Step number two, check a couple of dates to locate the bosses via their voice lines. If there are no voice lines, go a bit further up, shoot some bushes, bait the bosses. Step number three, as soon as you hear the footsteps, run down the hill and hide behind the rock. Step number four, fight the bosses using the rock as the cover. So 
soon as you do a wide peek towards the boss or shoot him on the arm, he'll start shooting you in the chest. So don't. Whenever you peek, shoot them straight in the face. After you kill the knight and the big pipe, be ready for the bird eye to push you. Sometimes he doesn't make any footsteps, so you need to rely only on your visuals. This time, however, he decided not to push me and in this scenario I would have looted two of the bosses and I would have left. But just for testing, I decided to see where he's located. And this time he was sitting inside the main building, inside the weather station. So there was absolutely no way he would push me and it would be really difficult for me to locate him and kill him. Thus, as I said already, load the bosses and leave if the bird eye does not push you. Now let me quickly show you how I killed the bosses on the other side of the weather station. So first of all, I was running the trade line like an idiot. It's in the night, but like enough to kill him, and I decided to move to the left side and play off the rocks area. Then I checked a couple of nades and waited for the bosses to push me. After killing Big Pipe, I got pretty lucky because the bird eye instantly pushed me, and the knight was already dead. So that was it, the bosses were killed. What about the guns which you can be using to fight the bosses? To be honest, you can use anything you want, but of course there are some guns which would work better on them and some guns which work worse. For sure, something like 762 BP Mutant with uh, in, in a meta build with uh, zero recoil is gonna work amazing. Same as SA58 with M80 or M62. But if we look at something cheaper, I think shotguns do a really great job, especially if you do manage to buy flechette bullets. You can buy them on the flea, people tend to sell them for like 500 to 1000 uh, rubles per bullet, or you can buy them from Jaeger if you already unlock them. Flechettes work much better on the bosses because they do wear level 5 armor, and Knight is also wearing a level 1 mask, which has high ricochet chance, so if you're using Buckshot, it's gonna be quite difficult killing the bosses. Therefore, I advise for chats. If you got any other good and really cheap guns in your mind, please let me know down in the comments below. And as this video is coming to an end, let me quickly advertise my recently made video with the Rasputin song, which was an amazing edit. If you still haven't seen it, please do. I think this video is a bit underrated, and yeah. I guess we're at the end of this guide. If you still do have some questions, feel free to pop on my Twitch channel. I stream there daily. Ask me the questions, get your answers. And if you're still not subbed to the YouTube channel, feel free to. It takes you a couple of clicks and makes me very happy. Don't forget about the thumbs up, which help with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in the next one.